Hello guys, in this tutorial we are working on a weapon system that will synchronize into a mirror. So, right now we can push the set and then it disappear and next it will come back. So first go into scripts and make a combat, make a new script folder, call it weapon. And we're gonna make a new script in here, call it weapon. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to delete all of this and write using Unity Engine. And then we're going to make a namespace RPG Combat Combat like that. And we're going to make some brackets. And then we will say Create asset menu file name equals to weapon and then the menu name is equal to weapon slash make new new weapon and order is equal to zero. So right now we are making uh, it a bit easier for us to make weapons further on in the tutorial. Public class, weapon, and scriptable object like that. And then we are going to make a public animator, animator or right, which is a new thing we are going to work with. Uh, my weapon. All right, we want the animation to change depending on what weapon we are holding, which we will use an animator overrider for. Instead of keep working inside the animator, we can just override some of the animation that will change depending on what we are holding in the hands. And we will use a public game object, uh, which we the weapon prefab we just did. And we're just gonna set it to nil. And then we will have a uh, public void spawn and we will say transform uh, hand transform which is the area where we hold it and an uh, animator we will call it animator which is for changing the animator then we say instantiate weapon prefab at the hands transform and then we're gonna say animator dot one time controller equals to my weapon all right. So that was the first part we needed to do. We can just go into our Unity project again, go into prefabs, go into weapon, right click. Now you can see there's a weapon, create new weapon, say two handed. And then you will take the weapon prefab, put it in there, and then we need to make a animator overrider control like this. And then you have to say what kind of animator is it supposed to change, and it will be the player controller. So you can see we we'll override all of these animation clips, and we will probably override the idle or the slash kind of depending on what you're using so if you go from shield to bow and stuff like that so for now we just put it in there and then we need to make another script under combat we will call it uh, this is will will be our first script in how to change equipment equipment change And we will open it up and we're going to use mirror since we have to like sync this with the other players in the game. So we are using mirror, we are using RPG combat, RPG combat, and we're gonna make a Let's see, gonna make a public enum, public 
uh, enum, which is the types of weapon we are going to have equipped. And for now, we just say, well, we have nothing like unarmed. Then we have uh, two hand, uh, two handed whip, one hand, one hand whip, and so on. You can write like dagger, staff, and so on. But for now, just leave it like that. And then we're gonna say we need a serialized field that says weapon equals to weapon equals to null. And then we need a serialized field for the transform dot hand, let's see, hand transform like in the other one. And then we're gonna need a serialized field for the animator, so animator, animator, we can call it my animator, that, and then we gonna remove this for now, so it's easier to follow. Then we're gonna sync var uh, hook, which is the part where it's syncing with the game name of and we haven't made a name yet so we're just gonna do like that for now and then we're gonna say public equipped equipped item we call it equipped item like that and then we're gonna make avoid on change e Equipment, and we're gonna put in equipped item, and we're gonna put in old equipment, old equipped that item, and we're also gonna take in the new equipped item, equipped That. I'm gonna make some brackets and and we take this name and put it up here because this is the one we want to sing. We want to sing what item are we holding and what item are we going to have. So in here we're gonna start a coroutine and the reason we do coroutine is because we are going to destroy. Uh, our other object we have in the hand every time, um, and then the, at this, we just draw an object. It's the last frame, so we need to do a curve scene to make sure that it's away before the new one comes in. So change, uh, change equipment, and new equipped item that uh, let's see I feel that we need something here star coaching no it seems fine like that and then we will make the coaching so I'm later like that we will call it change Equipment, and we will take in the equipped item, and we will also take the new equipped view, take in this also, like that, and just saw that it changed the name up here, it needs to be the same, like this, and then we're gonna say uh i think we need something um yeah sorry we need a serialized field game object and call it sort joint we need to find the sort joint at our player could also be right hand or whatever you have it doesn't matter 
Um, so while sort joint dot transform dot child count is greater than zero, so we already have something encrypted. We are going to destroy it. Dot transform let's get child zero that game object. So the first one and yield turn like that. Then we're gonna make a switch. And then we're gonna make switch into a new item. We're gonna say case encrypted equip set item dot call it two handed so web that then we're gonna uh, do the swap and then we're gonna break and let's see why it doesn't like me if to ah we need to write new crypt item here we put this back so here at the, the swap, we need to make the new swap. So we will call it void, um, make it private, void, uh, swap, spawn, spawn weapon. And what will we do there? We say if weapon equals to nothing, then just return. You're not going to do anything if you don't have any weapon. And if we have a maybe see the animator uh, animator override controller weapon override uh, we haven't made that we will call it weapon override is equal to weapon dot my weapon override and then weapon that spawn is gonna be used at the hand transform and my animator like that and then we also because we are working on the online part we need to make an update a void update and in there we say if this is not the local pair We need to see this need to be network network behavior. That is not local player. Then return. So we don't duplicate it. And everyone <laughs> switch weapon when you click. Um let's see what can we more do? Um we need to do a bit more. Uh, maybe actually a good idea to assign a key to to make the swap swap in the weapon. So if input dot get key down, and we say key code dot set and encrypted items is not equal to encrypted item dot nothing. Uh, see here. This is the wrong one. Not equal to a encrypted item. Nothing. Um. Hmm. Then we gonna make a command. I think like this. I say void. Change encrypted item encrypted item and selected item and inside that command. I'm a bit sorry that I cannot like explain this part, but <laughs> I had to look up the 
how to do it in the networking part so it keeps updating and this was the only thing I found uh, I'm not sure what all of it does but it, I made it work so I was like okay I, I will use that um, so equipped it item nothing that and it picked the wrong one again that and if oh, I'm not gonna write all that again just gonna copy paste it so we if click set we are going to equip nothing if we're not already there and if we click use the X we will say do we have the two handed whip and if we don't have that then give us this two handed whip I think that will be all the coding for now. I think in this next video we will do the overriding animations. Um, but, but for now we do it like this. Then we let it compile. And when we find the prefab, find the player, go in here, we add the change equipment, and then we're gonna fill out all of these and we have so will be the sword joint and also gonna take the sword joint here and the animator will be Maria and right now it's nothing so it should work now let's see I found out that we forgot uh, one little sign there, which kind of broke the entire game for us. So now it should work when we hit the play and host, and we can see our weapon. We can take it away. So let's test if we can use it in our multiplayer setting. This is always a bit interesting. Here, host, and put him over here a bit. Client, C, that, and then we, yes, and now the both have. So it works perfectly.